Where did Sister Trunk get his sword? For a long time, there had been a big debate over where Future Trunk got his sword. Even though, in my opinion, I don't think it is something that should be debated at all. Because you use a bit of common sense and critical thinking, you can determine how the most likely theories that people have don't make any damn sense. Now, the biggest theory you hear is that Tapion, or Tapion, however you want to say it, gave him his sword. That theory is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Alright, let me go over this here. So, one, in the uh, Wrath of the Dragon movie, how was Harutagar released? How did Tapion get released? Oh right, the Dragon Ball. Well, when Trunks was like a year old, those were kind of destroyed because Piccolo, they were killed by the Android 17 and 18. So, and Trunks was around... This, and Trunk was around four, maybe like eight, no, eight years old again. Trunk was eight. Eight. When they found the music box of Tapion with Trump was trapped in. You see the problem with this guy? Yeah, there's already a flaw with it. Also, if they had released Tapion, Harutagar would have eventually gotten out, and there would have been no one on the planet to stop him. The android would not be a threat if Harutagar would have killed everybody. Because the only thing, it took Goku as a Super Saiyan 3, Mystic Gohan, it took Vegeta, and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenk to beat this guy. It also took uh, the Dragon Fist from Super Saiyan 3 Goku to finish it off. But none of the characters at the time, what, so, let's say that we still took place. Let's say they still somehow got Tapion out and a Rudigar showed up. Let's go over... Who would be on the planet that would have any type of chance against him? We would have Future Gohan, 17 and 18. And that's all we would have. And, and, and let's be honest, but they're the only people that have a shot at winning. That doesn't mean they have a they you're actually going to win because they wouldn't. But at least they could attack him. They, could, they may be able to do some damage with some key blast, but in the end, he's just going to kill him relatively easily. So... There's no way it could be Tapion Thor, because Tapion would never even get out of the music box in that timeline. Plus, Tapion is non-canon, and the future Trunks has the sword in the canon material of the manga. So there is another theory, that it is Gohan's sword, the one Piccolo gave him during his training. That is canon. The anime filler of him training is not canon, but the scene of Piccolo using his clove beam and giving him a sword is canon. However, if you compare Future Trunks' door to Gohan's door, they're completely different. Future Trunks' door is meant to be wielded by a grown-ass man. That story was made for a kid. Their, their, their art design is different, their coloring is different, and heck, Gohan lost the door. It, it disappeared. Toriyama like, forgot about that damn thing. So it can't be Gohan's door. That, that just wouldn't make any sense at all. I mean, look at that. They actually look completely different. I feel that the best way you can say where Trunks got his sword from, I personally feel that his sword, he just, he just got it. I literally think he just saw the sword, he picked it up. That's what I believe. I, he probably went in and bought a sword, but I don't think there's anything special about that sword. I think he imbued it with key. He used a key to make it stronger so he can use it on his opponent. But in the end, if you want my honest opinion, I think he's I think it's just a regular sword trust like a bot at a store or the tuck maybe from some guy at the Android killed. Who knows? But in that timeline I don't think he got it, you know, from anybody. He just got it himself. He just got it like you or I would get a store and he went to a store he went to a store and bought one. However, I just want to make this video clear up where I think he got the sword. Because, honestly, a lot of people seem to be confused because after Trunks gets the sword from Tapion in the Wrath of the Dragon movie, it shows Trunks cutting uh, up the freeze of shoulders, and it shows Trunks using the sword, and, you know, while, that, while that's all fine and dandy, it's a movie, it's non-canon, but it also just doesn't make any damn sense. So even if it was canon, it still wouldn't be possible, because it still wouldn't make any sense. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.